Hey guys, Richard Blaine here. Thanks for stopping by my Easy Cooking channel tonight. Well, the weather is finally getting hot here in Vegas, and I'm going to make a salad tonight. I'm not going to make a lettuce type of salad. Tonight, I'm going to make a potato salad, and I'm not going to make your usual, regular, you know, boring old picnic-style potato salad, you know, made with mustard, mayo, relish, onion. No, 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 no. I'm not making that kind of potato salad. Tonight, I'm going to make for you my Italian-style potato salad. And it's going to have a lot of layers of flavor, and it's going to be really delicious. So as usual with YouTube, 15 minutes. Let's get going. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so my first order of business is I've got to cook this bacon. I know I said I'm making potato salad. So you might ask, why am I making bacon? Well, I just feel like having some bacon. Well, in all actuality, the bacon's going to go into the potato salad. So I've got to reduce this bacon down to its nice crispy part to be added into my Italian potato salad. So while that's going on, I'm going to get the potatoes on the water and we're going to move along. Okay, the bacon's done cooking and now I'm boiling up my potatoes. This is going to take about 15 minutes to get them just firm, just tender. And then I'm going to take them out of the water and let them sit for a few minutes and cool, at which time they'll continue to cook anyway. I'm going to move on to the next step making the potato salad dressing. Okay, this potato salad dressing is made in two stages. The first step, naturally, olive oil. About a third of a cup, give or take. You might need half a cup, depending on how many potatoes, or how many pounds of potatoes, rather, that you are going to cook. All right, and to that, some red wine vinegar. Now, in this case, I'm using garlic granules because after I came home from the store today, I remember that I forgot to get fresh garlic. So you can use granules, but I prefer fresh. Just I didn't have them in this case. Now I'm just going to whisk that together. And then in goes some basil and some freshly crushed oregano bulb. Okay. I'm just going to whisk that lightly together with my fork. Okay. Some black pepper, freshly crushed. Okay. Whisk that together. Okay. Little touch of salt. Okay. Whisk that together. And then here's one of the stars of the dressing that I really, really like. Anchovy. Okay. Use as many as you like, between two and four. I happen to like using four. And sometimes more. Now, the anchovy's in there. All I'm going to do is mash it up with the fork and whisk it into the salad dressing here. And that's it. It's going to dissolve as a dresser. Okay. I'm also going to add some Italian flat leaf parsley. Okay. I'm just going to whisk this in with the fork. Okay. And I'm going to continue working on that anchovy in there. And then I'm going to let this part of the dressing sit and marry for a while. Let the flavors marry as the potatoes cook. And then we'll be on to the second half of this Italian potato salad dressing. The first half of this potato salad dressing has been sitting here now for about 10 minutes. The anchovies dissolved and are firmly mixed in. And now I'm going to add the second half of this potato salad into this uh, potato salad dressing into this mix. Here's where the rubber's going to hit the road. Oh God! There goes the bacon. Okay. That's the bacon from before. I want to get that wet. Okay. This isn't going to be an overly wet dressing. This will coat the potato. Okay. Because you'll either mix it with hand, with your hands or with a rubber spat, okay? But you just want to get the bacon wet. All right. Capers. Get those capers wet. You can see the layers of flavor that I'm trying to build here with this dressing. There we go. Just continue using that fork. The parsley softens up. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, some red onion. Finely diced. 
red onion. Okay, that'll put some zip into it. Okay, just get the onions wet. Just get the onions wet. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, all those ingredients are wet. One last ingredient that I'm going to put in here. Some roasted red bell pepper. And I chopped very tiny. That's already a wet ingredient, so it'll be easy to get going in here. There we go. Now, if you want to add some more olive oil to this to make it spread, you can do that. But this is not an overly oily dressing. And because you guys know I like the heat, I want to put a little Sicilian into this. Some hot red chili flakes. Okay. All right. Get that in there. I love those pepper flakes with the anchovy. Woohoo, yeah. All right. So here's the Italian potato salad. <coughs> Riley, be a good boy. Here's the Italian potato salad dressing mixture. And I'm going to let this sit here and let these flavors all marry together and discipline my dog. And I'm going to let the potatoes out to cool off, and then we're going to build an Italian potato salad. Hang on tight. Okay, guys. So now it's time to assemble our Italian potato salad. Let's get going. Okay, guys. Time to put the potato salad together. If you notice, my potatoes are half cut. These aren't cut into quarters, okay? This is a macho potato salad, okay? Large chunks. Okay, which makes it easier to mix. Now me, I'm going to mix this up with my bare hands instead of using a rubber spatula. And that's okay because the hands are clean. So make sure they're clean. So in goes our potato salad dressing. Oh my God. Now, let me tell you something about this dressing. Okay, This dressing is good on pasta. This dressing is good on rice. Okay, this dressing is good spread on meat. All you got to do is try it. Okay, just, if you don't want to make potato salad, just make the dressing and my God, you will have a good time because this dressing goes good on anything. It's kind of a pasta putinesca dressing, you know, with everything on it, but there it is. Okay, doesn't take long to mix it up and there's a lot of it, okay? You can see, there's a lot of it. And that's it, okay? That's it. So I'm gonna put a couple of additions in here and I'll be right back. Okay, just a couple of more additions. Some green olives, Spanish green olives. Just get them in here. Oh. This is just going to be so good. I can't wait after it chills. All right. There we go. Just one quick toss. Get those olives in there. And then I'm going to top it off with one more Sicilian factor. Okay, guys. There you have it. Richard Blaine's Italian potato salad. This is a macho potato salad. Lots of flavor layers. A lot of complexity, not your standard mayo, mustard, and relish potato salad. I hope you try this recipe. I know you like it, and I'll see you on the next video. You take care. Hey guys, summer is coming, and I hope you have lots of picnics. I hope you have lots of parties, lots of social gatherings, lots of friends. And I hope everybody brings something to eat. And I hope you bring something to eat too. And if you get tasked with the duty of making a potato salad, don't make the usual boring picnic potato salad with the mustard, mayo, relish. <laughs> Don't get caught making that typical potato salad that everybody makes in the world, okay? Try this Italian potato salad. It's really delicious. It's really great cold. It's really great warm. But try this Italian potato salad. I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.